Kosovo Serb MPs have attended on Monday a meeting of a country's assembly presidency, marking an end to a nearly six-month boycott on Kosovo institutions, saying they had decided to return so that they could vote for the border demarcation deal with Montenegro. Chiefs of parliamentary groups met to set a date on an upcoming parliamentary session. Kosovo Serb Belgrade influenced MPs had been boycotting Kosovo institutions amid showing their discontent over the delay of the establishment of Serb Majority Municipalities Association in Kosovo. An employee of Kosovo Parliament administration has died of what is thought to be a heart stroke at his workplace early on Monday. Doctors who rushed to the scene at 9 a.m. local time confirmed the male worker had died at his workplace of a heart stroke. A Kosovo appeals court has affirmed the murder conviction of a man who was found guilty of killing a former director of education at Pristina Municipality. Kosovo Court of Appeals on Monday upheld Pristina Basic Court's conviction of Gani Sahiti, who is now serving a 27-year prison term for murdering ex-municipal education director Remzi Salihu. On 3 October 2011, Sahiti broke into Salihu's office and shot him dead instantly. A municipality in central Kosovo says it has been working on a dress code regulation which will make it illegal for primary and secondary school students to wear headscarves, miniskirts, jeans and have facial hair. The city hall has been given the green light by country's education ministry to go ahead with a policy. Daud Thaci, director of the education directorate at Drenas Municipality, has told Gazeta Express that the policy was a proposition made by Drenas Mayor Ramiz Ladrovs's office. The regulation is yet to be completed before it is voted on. For more information, visit gazetaexpress.com/en.